Hi, everybody. We've got some great news, and we owe you an explanation. First, the great news. Every Aptera will launch with DC fast charging, capable of a minimum of 40 kilowatts continuous up to 60. Now to the explanation. You may recall from Chris's campaign earlier this year to lobby Tesla to release their NAX plug for public use. Um, before that was done, the only option Aptera had was the SAE combo plug, a very big plug. Uh, you've probably seen it in the video that he did. And it's a very difficult problem to package on the vehicle. And that's why we always wanted the Tesla plug. So because we didn't have line of sight for that, and because we didn't want to package that big combo connector, we paused the development on DC fast charging. But we've already been working on fast charging for over a year. And in one of the earliest prototypes PDUs uh, that we have here, I can show you where it goes. So one of the first things you notice is on this prototype, it's made out of uh, folded welded sheet metal, uh, sheet aluminum. Uh, the production version is high pressure die cast, so it's very lightweight, low cost, uh, dimensionally stable. But what I want to show you is the place and the holes for the fast charge contactor that actually go right in here. And the bus bars have already been designed and formed and they take you down to the DC fast charge connector, which will actually go right there, another orange connector, high voltage connector right there. So even in this early, early prototype, one of the first PDUs that were built, we had uh, the packaging and everything for DC fast charging built in. Now, why 40 to 60 kilowatts? Why can't we just say a number? Well, at a minimum, the heating from all of the bus bars that we have, um, 40 kilowatts is below the limit. Uh, but you know, as, as current goes up, the losses go up with I square R. And so the sizes of the bus bars and the cables and everything need to increase. And so we don't want to add too much copper because it adds weight and that adds cost. So through validation, we'll see how, how higher we can get above 40 kilowatts. But uh, I believe it's a 40 kilowatt minimum, perhaps up to 60 kilowatts after validation. It's really exciting that every launch edition Aptera will already have the technologies incorporated in them to be compatible with the supercharger network, the nation's largest DC fast charge network. It's really because of the will of our supporters and the 40,000 signatures we got on a petition to the US government to make the Tesla NAC standard a nationwide standard that we now have available a four to 600 mile per hour charge for our launch edition vehicles. It's exciting and I think it'll make road trips and everything you wanna do with your early Aptera just that much more amazing. Really wanna thank you guys for all the feedback. Um, it was pretty consistent and um, pretty overwhelming. <laughs> so uh, we took it to heart and we decided to turn back on this program that we had paused months ago because we didn't really have line of sight to the NAX connector. But now that we have line of sight to it, we have access to it, um, coupled with your very, very uh, vocal and numerous uh, posts and feedback, we decided to make a change. It's amazing to be able to quickly announce this new feature for your launch edition Aptera. And I think it will just enhance the user experience for everyone that's waiting patiently for their Aptera to be in their driveway soon. Thanks. Thanks everyone. <laughs>